yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here so the next step let us go and write the um the release node over here so we can automatically publish that particular release node to our google play store as well as the app store connect so in case you want to publish a release node automatically then you can use this process using the code magic so for that we'll go to the root of our project over here and what we'll do is we'll create a new file and we'll call this one as the release node.djson. You can also use the text file over here, but the text file, if you want to maintain it, uh, it's a bit difficult because if once you want to add a lot of the extra languages code, like if you are, want to add your native language, let's say your Hindi, English, uh, your German or your uh, other language over here then it's point, going to be quite difficult to maintain that particular text file so it's better to use the JSON over here but it's always your choice so whether you think that text file is better or JSON file is better then it's up to you you can decide which one to use but we'll be using the JSON file over here so let's go and create the new file over here and I'll just copy the content over here and I'm just going to paste it the JSON content and I'm not going to write it because it's going to take a lot of the time over here. So we have the array over here and we have the JSON node over here. You can always have the multiple node over here since this is for the, let's say this is for English, uh, US, then you can, uh, you have, can have the English for UK. So you can get the language code supported language code for your um, release node from the code magic documentation make sure to go and check out the language code supported for the release node by default we'll be using the english since we have only one translation if you want you can always go and add in the extra node for your translation over here so first we have to mention the text which is of the uh, the language code that the supported language code from the code magic itself and then we have a text so text will be of your uh, the release node that you want to mention so let's say this is for the uh, added the uh, or you can just say um, bug let's say bug fix in uh, R -E -L -E -L, release node so let's say just a simple text over here so you can add the, your text over here and what's new it's for the uh, apple only it's not for the uh, android so in android we are going to use the uh, language code as well as the text but what's new is on for the uh, apple specific uh, the description and then these are the keyword that this is for the app store that you are going to use so you can add a promotional text marketing url support url if you go to the uh, app store over here and in the app store if you go to your particular app information so these are the promotional text uh, description keyword that you can use right and then you have the marketing url support url copyright so actually you can set up it over here so this is the way that you can actually publish that automatically through your uh, code magic release node and um, since we haven't published it to the app store this is not relevant to us but uh, i'm still putting it over here so you can have the this particular file so you can look through and add your own in case you are releasing the application to the app store and rest of the thing will be the fine so these two are for the uh, android specific but this is the specific to the uh, ios as well so i guess that's the thing that we have to do with the release node over here and what we need to do is we need to create a new build and publish it so let's see if we are able to publish it to the app store as well as to the uh, google play store so let me add the git add over here and then the git comi commit that's m okay so i get uh, i guess i made a mistake over here since this one should be on to the uh, new so this should be actually on to the new branch so we can actually trigger the pull request but let's just keep it as a simple so i don't want to have a pull request and create this particular branch over here so uh, let's go and say that the added the R E L E release node uh, over here 
and I'll then just comment it and then get the deposit over here so this will also go and trigger it should trigger a new build so let's go back to our code magic over here and let's go to the apps over here so we have a new build over here and that build should include the uh, code magic yaml file so let's go on to the main and let's try to refresh our repo over here and we have the release node added over here so let's wait for this one to complete and let's see if we are able to publish that release node to our uh, app store connect that should be on the test flight you should get that one on to the um, release node information over here and it should be added to what to test over here and also in the app store over here so let's wait for it to complete and we'll be back once it is done over here and finally here you can see that the both of the workflow has been successfully completed which is of the ios and then the android so let's go back to the release node over here so we'll go to the uh, place uh, google play console over here and select the version so go to the release overview and you have the new release which is of the build of the 13 and it's currently on the uh, review previous was cancelled so let's go over here and you should see if you scroll down you should see that you have the bug fix and then the and in a release node that is what we have said bug fix in a release node that's cool so it's working fine in the uh, play store uh, play console over here google play console over here we have successfully added our default english to the default language to the en us over here and uh, let's go back to the app store connect and over here we will select the new version that we have published which is of the 1.2.0 and the build number is of the 2 and here you go so here we have the bug fix in our release node so that's cool so we have added the test detail which is of the release node from here so i got i guess you got the point how we can send the uh, release node from your build using the code magic so you just have to add the release node that the json or the text file over here and you just need to fill in the information that you want to pass into the release node so that's all for this lesson and we will meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day